and we don't care about Gotovina himself, you know. It's not a problem with his political engagement or something like that, but it's a problem about uh, latest judgment. And he was acquitted on all accounts, and there is a simple question that you cannot find a response. And that is, who expelled 250,000 Serbs from Croatia? Who was responsible for that? That was the biggest ethnic cleansing after the Second World War on European soil. soil. Who did that? Who was responsible for that? Someone had to be. And it was something, and it was something that really uh, made, an, made a terrible impact. That kind of judgment made a terrible impact in Serbia, but no, it's not, it's not our problem with Croatia. It's our problem with ICTY, but you know, we fulfilled all our obligations, not only regarding uh, handing over or apprehending our uh, indictees, we did everything regarding archive materials, documents. I think that we handed over more than 3,200 documents that we were asked for. We did everything. And after all, there are very simple questions and no response on these questions. Who killed 1,500 1, people in, in that action code named Storm in Croatia? Who expelled 250,000 people from Croatia? And that's it. But anyway, speaking about our relationship with Croatia, I think that we need to improve that relationship and we as a responsible people, we are looking forward to make that kind of cooperation and collaboration at a much bigger level and we are not going to run away from that. It's very important for the regional stability. If you don't have better relationship between Serbia and Croatia, the whole region won't be stable enough. And that's why I think that we have to that we have to bring always rational, reasonable and responsible decisions. But still it's very easy to explain an anger of Serbian people after those two judgments. <laughs>